And you join us back at the start for the Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup. This is junior women's quads. You see on the top of your screen, York City, Rowing Club and the Barclay Station. And on the bottom of your screen, you're seeing Blair's Court School and the Buckinghamshire Station. And off they go again. Great start of the Nice clean start from both crews. Uh, we've got Claire's Court, as you said, on the right of our pictures looking down. We've got three returners from this boat who raced all the way to Thursday last year, so they're going to try and they can go one better and try make it to Friday this year, if not further. Yeah, we've seen that the depth of this event just grow and grow and grow, and the, the demand for spots and spaces at national schools, Women's Henley we saw a few weeks ago, and it's certainly here at Henley Royal Regatta, is massive. And we're looking at two very good crews here. They're racing the Thursday at Henley Royal Regatta, and Claire's Court are actually one of the standout crews to be watching this event, but York City are really taking it to them. As they come down the end of the island, they've stayed in contention. This is good. I mean, we haven't seen a really tight sort of race like this so close to the start still for the last few races. So this is, I mean, this is when Quad sculling at its best. It's always easy to sit here and watch it and say that. I'm sure when you're in it, you prefer to have a three-length lead. Um, but, you know, it is, I mean, really good sculling from both crews. We saw Claire's Court having a bit of a steering issue coming just along the island. Again, it's hard to describe, we're looking at it, but you get quite an interesting wind pattern coming around the island, so sometimes it can be taken by surprise as you move out of the shadow of the island into the open space. But they've both settled down now. Again, nice close sculling. Claire's Court just having an advantage at the moment. And this is an absolutely cracking start from both crews. And I'd really give credit to York City here because they're lining up against the National School Silver Medalist, Claire's Court, here on the right of your screen. Big shouts there from both crews, sticking with it. Keep your hand in the fire. And the York City crew, they finish in the B final at National Schools. And that's one of the big yardsticks that we'd look at to see how the how the crews are going. But some of that experience maybe drawn them through this regatta and they really look cohesive in time, loose shoulders. Can they? give a little bit more aggravation to this Claire's core crew. These angles are always great to look at from a, a sort of technique point of view. You can just see the blade work and Claire's court just a little bit tidier. You can see the squaring of the blades, a bit more cohesive, a little bit more ragged from York City crew, but, and again, quite close to the booms for the York City, so they're gonna be just correcting their steering now. But again, you know, really strong sculling from both teams. Yeah, lovely shot from behind. Looks quite calm from behind, Catherine, doesn't it? But I, I kid you not, these crews are going pretty hard right now. It's lovely, actually. The water's really calmed down a bit as well. So, again, although it's it's wet, it's unpredictable, that rain could be coming back. And like we said, we, we heard th thunder and lightning quite recently. Hopefully it's moved past us. But it just means it's just an added sort of challenge for the, the crews out there, um, especially these boats. Lots of blades happening in Accord, uh, uh, very fast boats happening as well. So when you can get a lead like Clear's Court have got now, then you can bring the rate down, you can almost calm the whole racing down, just bring things very controlled, very controllable, and, and they're not under threat anymore. So come to this shot here as we've gone past the road in this quiet spot, the trees, there's not huge crowds in the bank. It's, it's the really the you know the fly or die moment. Can you ramp your rate up and get back in contention or are you the crew out front that's going to drop your rate and be smooth and silky and powerful to that finish line yeah and york city although although they'll you know they'll have lost the feel of of clear's court crew just ahead of them they're still you know they're still holding that rhythm and holding their power and they're still putting in a really strong performance and they'll want to you know as you come by these enclosures even if you're in that second place position, we've all been there at some point, you, you still want to put on a strong performance right the way down the course. Because it's a knockout regatta, if, if you are coming second, this is the last time you will race down the course this year, and you really want to put in a stronger race from start to finish as you can. And what a cracking season they've had, this York City crew. Looking down there, Thornburn in the bow seat, Silke in the two seat, Clixby, Daisy Jackson stroking it. There crew that's had a great season it's really culminating here in this final but the Claire's court crew so looking at the back there Jemima Dawn 15 years old Jemima there in the bow seat getting to call for her crew take the rate down a little bit keep it long keep your heads up breathe up half a foot into your next race right now 
Absolutely. And for the York City crew, you know, it's what's lovely is hearing from all four of them how excited they are to be here, to have qualified, to made it through to Thursday. It's a huge achievement to get this far in this competitive event. So hopefully they'll be able to enjoy the rest of the week as well. And these two crews to make it through that torrential downpour we just had also takes an extra special congratulations. So, so well done to them. To see the York City crew here coming up to the finish line. And it's a win with Claire's Court School in the Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup of York City.